I've always been fascinated by sharks. They're by far the most important and allergen predator that we have in our oceans today. And thus, it's so important that we finally start to protect them. When people ask me, Lucas, how can I help to protect sharks? The answer is simple. Yes, you can donate money. And yes, you can support a nonprofit organization. But you can also join a scientific expedition to help shark researchers and conservationists, such as Georges Fontes in the Azores, and contribute to their important work. You can become part of the field work. You can be a part of tagging blue sharks. You get to see these animals in action as you help to protect them. The main goal was to not change, not alter the behavior, because then I would not be measuring the natural behavior. Either it was attaching with using a spear, or fishing the, the, the shark, or putting on a bulky, heavy, high drag tag that would essentially bother the shark all the time and then, then I would have excellent data on how sharks behave when they're bothered and mm. not happy. These are oceanic pelagic sharks, that's what they like. They like to be exploring coastal uh, slopes or uh, island slopes actually and sea mounts uh, and they like to go deep. But they also, because they like to go deep, they also need to spend a lot of time at the surface to warm up after a deep dive. The shark feels that he has something different on it, but after a few seconds, then it just ignores it normally and it continues to feed, it continues to do the exact same behavior as the other sharks, which indicates that he's comfortable with it. The tag is, of course, designed to, one, not touch the body, because it's designed to float above the body. And the other thing, it's designed to be very, very uh, low drag. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have an impact on the energy expenditure of the sharks. It doesn't feel that he's dragging something heavy behind. So this is very, very low drag. If you push it through the water, you can feel that you, can, you need very, very little force uh, to make it flow through the water. There's no littering, there's no uh, trash left behind. Mm -hmm. We just have to replace these links and it's ready to go. Join a scientific expedition to see sharks not only for your very own eyes, but make an important contribution to the important work of shark researchers and scientists as they work in the field and try and protect these animals.